Four Lies. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Body Bags. I'm Mikey Pishore, and I am your Friday host. Yeah, dude. So, sorry if you can hear that in the background. That's my uh, washing machine. Or my dryer, actually, not my washing machine. Yeah, sorry about that. But anyways, doesn't matter. Today, we're going to be talking about the movie... Simon Says, yeah, with Crispin Glover, man. Crispin Glover, man. Okay, so I'll tell you about him in a second. But this movie right here is about uh, five college students going camping. Very cliche, but that's what it's about. So, yeah. And they're going out camping, and they end up camping on this uh, in these woods where um, uh, right next to, like, a, I guess it's like a gas station. Anyways, where uh, these two twins, Simon and Stanley, work at, right? And uh, both of them are played by Crispin Glover. And so, yeah, that's pretty much the story. They start getting picked off by these dudes, uh, Crispin Glover and Crispin Glover, uh, Simon and Stanley, uh, basically. And so, yeah, that's basically it with this movie. So, let me tell you something about Simon Says. This movie is a ton of fun, man. This movie fucking rocks, man. So, Crispin Glover definitely steps... Uh, I wouldn't say out of his element because he's always fucking nuts, so he's, he's really just doing what he always does. But man, he really does sell it in this one. It's like, it's super cheesy, but he, he makes it creepy because it's just Crispin. You know, he's, he's a fucking freak, man. The guy's really crazy. I like him. I love him, actually. The guy's freaking awesome. Uh, but yeah, man, he's great in this movie. Uh, the funny thing about this movie is it says it's starring uh, Crispin Glover and uh, Blake Lively. Blake Lively is only in this movie at the end for not even five minutes. She literally has a scene, and that is it. So it's not, don't, don't be fooled by that. Don't, if you pick this up and you see Blake Lively and that's why you buy it, you're going to uh, be very disappointed. De very disappointed. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, actually, it stars uh, the chick. She was from Even Stevens. It was uh, uh, Shia LaBeouf's best friend. She's in this movie. She's basically the star. It also stars, um, I think his name is Craig Sipes or Greg Sipes, one of the two. But that's the, he's the voice of Beast Boy in Teen Titans. Yeah, he's in this movie, too, as a pothead. But uh, this movie, basically, the five students are all very cliche characters. You got the jock, you got the smart girl, you got the pothead, you got the whore. It's kind of mean to me to say. And you got the main character, you know. And, uh, of course, the the hoe is the uh, a, a blonde chick, of course. But, um, yeah, no. So, basically, he's picking these kids off. And uh, there's not much story in it. There is a little bit. Uh, but the, the best part about this movie are the kills. The kills are fucking, they're crazy. Like, you wouldn't expect this movie to have the kills that it has, and they're all on screen. They're really fucked up. There's a scene where he has a trap, and he only uses, like, pickaxes. That's, like, his, his, uh, weapon of choice. And there's a scene where these guys are playing paintball, and he's, like, uh, Crispin's, like, fucking with them. It's not the main characters, but it's just two guys in the movie. And, uh, he, f he makes these guys, like, follow him, these paintball players, and they step on this, uh, tripwire and then this fucking giant like log with just pickaxes sticking out of it is just spinning from the trees and just hits these dudes and just rips them apart dude they just go everywhere body parts just fly everywhere there's a scene where he steps on a dog and it just splatters everywhere this movie's really really graphic uh one part that does make me laugh about it is that he has this contraption i don't know where he has the time to build all this shit but he does and i don't know i love it but there's this scene where he's like in this big ass machine where he's just like cranking it like this and it's just like launching like catapulting all these pickaxes all through this like all through the uh the forest and shit but the funny part about it is the pickaxes are going every which way they're like coming from this way this way but he's only on a machine that's kind of turning so it's weird how they're coming towards him basically it it's ridiculous it's stupid but man this movie's a lot of fun man you definitely gotta check out simon says for you know, story, it's not all that great. For acting, subpar, it's just whatever. But man, if you're just looking for a great time, put this movie on with some friends. I did it once. I was on tour with my band a long time ago and I brought some movies with me. And this is one that I brought with me and like myself and two other bands watched it. And man, we just had a blast with this one. If you ever just are just chilling with a ton of friends at a party, definitely throw on Simon Says. It's a ton of fun. Definitely check this one out. Uh, actually, if you look at my uh, actual page, just my Mikey Fish horror page, uh, the beginning intro, I have a scene where this girl's face is just completely ruined and a DVD comes out of the mouth. That's from this movie. Uh, man, just, uh, the ending's a lot. I mean, it's a, like a twist ending at the end. 
kind of, if you didn't see it coming, I guess. I saw it coming, you know. I think most people will, but it's still a somewhat of a twist. They tried for a twist, at least. Definitely check this movie out, though. Out of fun factor alone, man, I, I put this movie on all the time. I watch it probably once a year. It's hard for me to say this, but I'm loosely giving it an 8 out of 10, man. Uh, it probably deserves a 7 or a 7.5, but I'm giving it an 8 simply because I really do enjoy this movie. And I heavily put, I factor in fun factor into my ratings heavily because that's just how I do it. Definitely check out Simon Says if you haven't already. Even if you have, just watch it again because it deserves it, man. Anyways, yeah, that is me. I'm Mike the Fish Horror. Thank you for joining me once again. See you next Friday, guys. Later, dudes.